Hello, hello. So it's actually quite a while after this little trip to Paso Robles has taken place, but I wanted to check in and actually give a little bit of context because I do, I did actually lose a little bit of my footage from this trip. So it might be a little bit all over the place and a little bit confusing. So first off, a lot of people actually have not heard of Paso Robles. Paso Robles is a beautiful place located in about central California. It's in Slow County, San Luis Obispo, and is right under underneath Big Sur. It's also really known for their wine country and it's because it has the rolling hills, it has the perfect weather to actually grow grapes and you'll see that a lot of a lot of wine if you've seen where it's coming from you'll usually see Napa or you'll see Paso Robles which is an amazing place. It's actually one of the biggest places for wine culture. So my dad is actually in the wine business and he actually has Rosa Vineyard where he's making and harvesting his own grapes for wine which he'll be picking in October but since this is happening in April it's the big season where you actually need to work with the soil start you know going through the process of grapes I'm still learning about it. I'm still new to it but I am very familiar with wine as I've been doing more wine tastings so we've definitely experienced that in Paso Robles also where I'm staying at in this vlog is actually a place called San Simeon. Um, it's famous for Hearst Castle, and that is not too far from Paso Robles. Paso Robles is kind of inner, and then if you take this highway called the 46, then you'll come to San Simeon, which is right along the beach. It's also very known for the tons and tons of elephant seals that you will see. So there's so many seals. I didn't go in peak season where the seals are, but it is just so much nature, so many different animals that you will see. If you haven't been to Paso Robles, you should definitely, definitely go. All right, so here's the vlog. Good morning slash, it's actually afternoon, but I'm starting the vlog off here. We're doing a little weekend trip and currently about to fill up gas at the gas station, making a pit stop. I did make a stop in Santa Barbara and it's day two of my all vegan month. Um, so. Stopped by a coffee shop, got a cold brew, broke fast around 1.30 p.m. Um, I also got a gluten-free bagel. I usually am not all about the processed whatever and stuff, but they didn't have many options. Pretty much everything had animal product, um, but I did get their avocado everything bagel situation with a gluten-free bagel and then also no cheese, but they definitely were generous with the avocado, so I was stoked about that feeling really fulfilled, got to visit a friend over there, and now heading up to Paso Robles. This is Country Duke and City Duke. <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I totally try to make myself feel extra excited right now. I feel like you can fake it, right? And then you can trick yourself into having that high energy. I did not sleep. I feel really delirious, but I'm in the most beautiful area ever. I'm gonna step outside and I had to pull over. The water is literally aqua marine. I'm in San Simeon. I'm up here visiting my dad. He spends a lot of time winemaking in Paso Robles. And I'm here to kind of just take you through the Paso Robles experience, the wine experience. Um, but I want to step out and show you this water. It's beautiful. It's like freaking aquamarine colored. And look at all the hills and the colors. I've come here a few times now, all during different seasons. It's spring right now, it's April, and it's absolutely magnificent. Yeah, all right, it's time to hit the road. We're going up to Paso Robles, Templeton area, and we are going to go to the vineyard. My doggo's there, my daddy's there, and it's gonna be a good time. Okay, last time I was here, it was November, and now it's April. No grapes, no leaves at all, but so luscious and green. This is Rocky Creek Cellars. Um, grabbing my little doggo. Oh my gosh, horsey. Wow. So beautiful. Oh. 
He's saying hello. So cute. Well, I'm gonna grab Dugo and we're gonna go meet my daddy -o. Oh, of course is following. We're gonna go meet my dad and see what he's up to. He's down the road. We found Duke. Duke, come on. Okay, Duco and I found my dad. He's literally out there on a tractor. Don't know what he's doing, but we'll go find out. Look. Go find grandpa. <laughs> he's having so much fun here. Okay, what are you doing right now on the tractor? Oh, I am uh, tilling the vineyard. <laughs> Why do you have to till the vineyard? Uh, to prepare for this uh, coming season. What's the season that the grapes grow in? From January until October. January the bud breaks, October you do the harvest in California. And then what kind of grapes are growing here? Pinot Noir! <laughs> <laughs> and Duke's really curious. <laughs> You guys, I see sheep. Duke, come here. He's literally trying to chase after the tractor. Duke, that's supposed to be your job. That's literally supposed to be your job. You know? He needs to ship herd, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we are here at the elephant seal lookout point and out. Oops. Look out! <laughs> in the distance are all the seals, and we're looking out at the point. Or, or, or. Must be nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you see it? Try again. Edward. Hold it there. Yeah. Do you see the color? Just oh, I see it. it. No. Yeah, you Whoa. see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like if you, yeah. Yeah. The actual color of the wine. Yeah. Okay. The skirt is around it, mm -hmm. and then in the middle of the, the core area. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. Body. Right. And you can see the difference. Do you see the difference? The, the right, the one that she brought. The proprietor's one mm -hmm. is darker, richer. Yeah, totally. What up, fam bam? So it is my last day here for the weekend. It's actually Monday here in the Paso Robles area. I'm staying here in San Simeon. Um, San Simeon is a beach town city. It's a very small town. It's not even a city, but look, you can see the ocean from here. It's so beautiful. Literally a two minute walk to the ocean. You'll see like California condors, which are these huge vulture looking birds. Amazing here. Um, yesterday we went and saw the seals, which were so beautiful. They're just kind of chilling and it's really fun to see. Um, we also visited a winery called Hearst Ranch Winery um, and their tasting room, they have one right along the beach. The actual place where they're creating and winemaking is through the 46 in actual Paso Robles area. Um, so this is the plan for today. I am going to head into the town of Cambria, which is honestly my favorite. And they literally have just one natural food market, but I absolutely love it. It has a bunch of yummy vegan options. So I'm gonna see if I can grab some goodies there. I'm also gonna get to do a quick pull workout. Um, there's a playground I found in, you know, along the beach area, and it's so perfect to just do a quick pull workout. I have my bands with me. So that was my Paso Robles experience and I definitely ate very plant-based, not my ideal way of eating because I love, you know, cooking as much as possible, but because I wasn't at a hotel, I try to make do with 
the lemons I had, if you know what I'm saying. But I have a few recommendations. If you are either vegan or you love the plant-based food scene, there is a place called The Reamery. It's literally a place dedicated to vegan cheese in Paso Robles, and they also have kind of a deli-style place for sandwiches. Really good, and definitely you can pick up amazing vegan cheese there. I'm gonna insert a picture right here because they actually offered and gave us a lot of different vegan cheese uh, varieties for a wine tasting event we had, which was amazing for our plant-based friends to enjoy. There's another place, it's not fully vegan, but it's my absolute favorite place called The Hidden Kitchen. The Hidden Kitchen is known for its amazing gluten-free blue corn waffles, literally insane. And they do have some plant-based options there as well. So here's a picture with there, that experience over there, so, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I have a lot of other videos and vlogs coming up from my experiment of kind of going back to a month of being vegan. As you know, I was vegan for years and then I kind of transitioned into eating everything, but this was kind of a fun experiment to see how my body would react while eating fully vegan and while traveling, see how accessible it is, how much I'm spending, all of the good things. So if you enjoyed, I hope you are able to like, Maybe even comment, maybe even subscribe. And if you are already, so much love to you. Have a beautiful day.